therapist here at Fitness Forum Physical Therapy in Annapolis. Um, just wanted to show you guys a little bit about instrument assisted um, soft tissue mobilization um, that I am certified in. So there's a few different uh, tools that you can use for soft tissue mobilization with instrument um, assistance. Um, so this is Jimmy, our patient. So I'm going to show a few things on the shoulder um, that you can do. So typically with instrument assisted soft tissue mobilization, um, you can use it for pain, uh, you can use it for neural input, and so typically you might see uh, the patient have an increase in mobility. Um, they'll think that they're getting the strength gains, but it's that neural input um, that you're providing with the instrument. Um, you want to be careful that before you start, you properly assess the patient. Um, so you want to make sure that there's no open wounds, um, there's no active infection going on, um, the patient has consented, um, and that they have proper sensation. You never want to damage the skin. Um, you should never notice bruising. Uh, you usually use the tool until you see a nice pink or warm um, response. So the other thing that we'll use is lotion. So you would apply um, a little bit of lotion to the skin, um, which I've already done, so he has a little bit of lubrication. Um, you always want to traction the skin when you are using the tool. Um, the first thing that we would have done, and that I've already done on Jimmy, is assess his mobility, his pain. Um, and with the tool, uh, with each tool, you'll probably notice that there is a dull and a sharp edge. The first thing that you want to do with the tool is do scanning, and I will typically use that dull edge. So you kind of go through and you will scan the tissue. If you feel any of those bumps, that is usually um, some increased tone, and you would want to use the technique of going nice and slow over the skin to try to reduce that tone and reduce that tissue tension. Um, you would then use the sharp edge, do the same thing, so you would scan, uh, and you might feel some grittiness, um, you might feel a little bit of tenderness from the patient, and that is when you want to do the fast sweeping strokes. So you would tension the skin, and you just go in and you do the fast sweeping strokes. You hold the tool about 20 to 30 degrees, and you can go in multiple directions. Nice thing to know is all of your fascial lines. Um, you can go along fascial lines. A lot of times we will go in between um, junctional sites, so in between the biceps and the triceps. You know, I might do some specialized techniques right in through here to try to break up any tissue adhesions. Another technique that we can use on larger muscle groups is the sweeping technique. Um, I'll usually go in and at the um, pecs is use that sweeping technique. So same thing, you traction the skin and you can do, just do some gentle sweeping. So typically you do this for about two to five minutes. You'll notice that skin kind of pinkening up. And then afterwards, you're always kind of checking in with your patients, making sure that they're okay, making sure they're not having any adverse reactions. And then you would have the patient sit, and then you would want to retest their mobility um, and assess their strength. After that, you might do some isometrics. So go back to you know your PNF techniques, your contract, relax. Uh, make sure that you're setting up a proper home program um, so that they can maintain that new range of mobility that you've just provided with your instrument-assisted um, soft tissue mobilization. Some progressions that we can do, so if we go down um, and take a look at his leg, and I'm going to actually have you sit. <laughs> so if we focus in on his leg, um, and we did similar techniques of, you know, assessment, you know, we might do the scraping technique along the junctional site of the IT band um, and the quadricep. The other thing we can do for progression is start to add in some um, movement. So one of the things we can do is a pin and sweep technique. Um, so I might have him straighten the leg. And so you would want to pin the muscle here and then he will lower his leg down. And then you do that sweeping technique. And so you pin and then lower down and just kind of sweep. So he gets a nice good stretch there as he's going through that motion. Um, but you always want to make sure that he's able to maintain that motion. So after you go in and you treat, you might do some isometrics. Um, so he would bend his 
knee and then pull back. Good. And you hold it for an appropriate amount of time. Push forward. And then throughout that new range that we just gained, he may um, bring his leg up. You hold. Good. So you might do that a few times. And then the other progression that I like to do, so if he were to stand, and this might be after a few sessions, he'll progress up to this point. We'll have you stand. And so lunges are a nice way to add some functional progression. So he would get into that lunge position. Yeah. We want to expose that area. And so as he lunges, you can do that same kind of pin and stretch technique. And then come on back up. Pin and stretch. Yeah. And same kind of principles, um, just light pressure. You work until you see that pinkening of the skin. There shouldn't be any um, pain response. And then you just kind of progress them, set them up with a nice home exercise program. Thanks.